Okay guys, <clears throat> what you're looking at there is the 576 non-auto tune. Half of the crankshaft. The other half is there on the floor. It's smoking hot. What you're looking at there is smoking hot also. I just used my torch, heated it up, pulled it apart. I have not removed the rod yet, so let's remove the rod. Uh, let me get something to hold that. Besides my bare fingers. Let's see if we can't get this apart. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. What you're seeing falling out there. There's some little rollers. That little bit right there is where I hit it with the torch accident and they got it too hot. But as you can see it does have a cage. That's hot. Too hot for me to just grab and pull off. Okay. Looks like the journal on crank's good. But I would say right here is what happened to this. Looks to me like either one of the bearings has failed. Let me get that around there where you can see it. I'm actually blocking. There, you can see how that's got a roller and a cage and a roller and a cage. If you roll around there, sorry about that, all them cages are missing out of there. I don't, this little spot there is where I got it a little hot with the torch, so don't look at that. But I'm not sure, well there we go again, getting it down too far. I'm not sure if the cages failed and let the bearings get twisted around sideways or if the bearings failed, started eating herself up, and then turned around sideways. Kind of like that when there was a little bit whopper jawed sitting in there. I bet you that's what's happened. The, the bearings have probably started eating herself up. And then they've got twisted in there, and then they've just destroyed the cage as they destroyed the bearings herself. But that's what was wrong with this 576 XP non-auto tune. Um, the big end bearing or the crank pin bearing however you want to say it large rod, rod journal bearing um, there's different names depending on who you talk to they want it called different things I just call it the large end bearing because it's definitely the, the large end of the rod it was this end here this is the one that goes on the crank so anyway that's my diagnosis. The bearing failed. What caused it? I really have no idea. What happened? Speculation. Either the bearings started going bad then ate the cage out, or the cage went bad and then started eating the bearings up. Okay guys, hope that was informational for you. See you in the next video.